And the other one, he was talking about like, um, he likes Richmond Park. He goes, I like to see all the deers. I went, it's deers plural, you don't need to say deers. I try and educate whenever I can. What's that one? I said, the deer is already plural. Yeah, deer is plural. Yeah. I said, you know, like sheep or, or fish. So you can say fishes. And, uh, and, uh, we were, like I said, um, do you know the, um, plural of, uh, mongoose? Because a lot of people would think it would be mongoose. It's not, it's mongooses. Do you know what Carl said? Plural of mongoose. Mongoose, yes. Plural of it's, mongoose? It's worth a competition. No, it's not. No. No, go on. Carl, what did you think the plural of mongoose was? Mongs. <laughs> <laughs> play a record after this white van, man. Do you want to play, uh... Do you know what he said to me the other day? Uh, this is unbelievable. This is one of the most stupid, incredible things I've ever heard. He was talking, and he suddenly stopped, and he was thinking about it, and he went... Oh, I don't know what he went. You'd never see a black ghost. Extraordinary. True, though, isn't it? I've never seen any ghosts, full stop. There are no ghosts. There aren't ghosts. No, I mean when you just see them in, like, magazines and that. <laughs> <laughs> Play a record! <laughs> there was some, uh, some other news, uh, whilst we're doing the knob news, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just cram this one in. Um, there was some story on some news website about some lad who, uh, wasn't happy with what, what, what he'd been given. Right. What do you mean? He had a, he had an op? No, no, uh, no, he wanted to have an op. He wasn't um, happy with what God had given him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the look what the Lord had popped downstairs <laughs> for him. <laughs> sure. And, uh... Sorry, no, wait a minute, was he a bloke who wanted it? Yeah, a fella, yeah, a fella. And he what he wanted, a, he, what, he didn't want a knob, or he wanted a bigger knob? Wanted a bigger one. Right, okay. okay. And, uh, cost five grand. Right. Um, and they made a mess of it. Well, what did they, how, how did they make a mess of it? Dunno, it, c it came out d smaller than he went in with. Well, no, what do you mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know all the ins and outs. <laughs> oh it God! Was, uh, it's just well, like he, it's borrowed, a, he borrowed the money off his mum. There's been a slight mix-up. <laughs> he <laughs> borrowed the money off his mum. I love that. <laughs> How bad is what that? What do you want for your birthday, son? <laughs> yeah. yeah, interesting. Thanks, mum, for asking. A couple of bits of news as well. Hello, doctor. How did it go? Um, well, well, firstly, don't look under the managers and don't have the goulash for lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 it, it was smaller than you went Man, in. Man, we got five grand. Why? Just give me five grand. <laughs> Tell me what it's for. <laughs> you can have it if you tell me what it's for. Well, look at that. Oh, you need a bigger one. Yeah, definitely. There's the money. <laughs> yeah. On you go. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> what did he say to the doctor then? That's rubbish. I didn't read all the ins and outs. I just, like I said, I saw just it. Just look for the picture. They were on that picture. <laughs> <laughs> but you just thought, uh, well, thanks for it. You just thought you'd pop that one in. Thanks. Yeah, that's the, that's the end. Uh, yeah. Knob News Extra. Yeah. Play record, Carl. Right. So if you've got any Knob News, um, we've got one more show left. Send that to ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and we'll hopefully get that Knob News on air next week. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Some Dizzy Rascal. Oh, Dizzy Rascal, yeah. He's one of the hot new English rappers. Let's play. Zero seven distractions. Very nice. Yes, I approve of that, Carl. Good, good choice there. Now, Steve. Yes. Carl came round to my flat. Mm. Uh, it was Tuesday night, wasn't it? Nice place. Now, um, thanks. Now, last week after the show, I think you guys were in the time you were in the toilet. Right, Carl got out the lottery uh, ticket that he bought. He went, "I'm feeling really confident tonight." Right. He's going. I, I was going. I laughed. He went, "No, no, seriously." He said, "Look at the numbers," and I looked at him, and I think they were four, six, eight. 20, 36, 48, weren't they? He was going, I just got a feeling about those, I'm not sure. He went, although, you know, my girlfriend said that, you know, if, if I won the lottery, we'd probably split up because we like such different things, meaning she likes to travel and he doesn't. And so he said, he said, so what I said was, well, if I win, then I won't tell you. I'll just <laughs> treat you a little bit more. <laughs> brilliant. That's brilliant logic. That mm. is great. Anyway. I'll look um, after her. Oh, I, I imagine you take care of her, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're a good guy. How would you do it then? You just, you just sneak little gifts in, slowly, over many years? Yeah. You don't yeah. think she'd rumble the fact that you, like, don't work anymore and drive a Lamborghini? Well, I'd still do this, I think. What, just, like, as a kind of beard, as a cover story? Yeah, just So you'd pretend out. to come to work, but maybe off partying and stuff in the daytime? Yeah. Clever. Now, he didn't win. <laughs> okay. I phoned him up Saturday night, he went, one number. <laughs> uh, one number, I think it was eight, wasn't it? Yeah, it well, was they all, there was a lot of eights on my piece of paper, weren't they? So I think it was either an 8 or an 18 or a 48. And he, went, and he, uh, and he was disappointed, he said, waste of time. I went, well, he said, no, waste of time. He said, I've worked it out. I went, go on. He went, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. 
I went, yeah. He went, think how many words you can make out of them. He went, there are 48 numbers on the lottery. I went, yeah, 60 million to one. He went, yeah. <laughs> Not and worth I looked, it. I looked into that in the week, right? <laughs> and there's, there's even less letters in the Welsh alphabet. They've only got 20. <laughs> and yet they've got loads of words as well. So even 20, the chances, if there was 20 numbers and you had to pick six winners, it'd still be really... Unlikely. Yeah. 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 You should be a mathematician. And anyway, so we got talking about it. We got talking, that was me, him and Jane right there. And, uh, and I told Jane, that he said about, oh, if you won the lottery, no, he doesn't like travel. And she went, why don't you like travelling? And uh, he went, well, I'm re I don't like planes. I don't. I'm really scared of planes and that. And she went, well, if you won the lottery, you could have a world cruise. And he went, no. She went, don't find I went, no. He said, if you go on a world cruise, what do you do next year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Genius. it's brilliant logic, Carl. It's, it's but great. you know, you know, on the world cruise, you don't actually see the whole world. I mean, you. And if you did, it's not like saying, "Well, I don't want to see that twice." <laughs> do you know it what is I mean? the world. It is the world. It's a lot. It's a lot to see. Mm. Um, and did, was, did it, it never? Sorry, did it never dawn on you before about the numbers in the lottery? Is this? Have you been playing this for years and thinking that you had a good chance? That it was just like you and a handful of other people that were doing it? Just as much chance as everyone else. But then when you actually sit down and think about sure. what you're doing, he's done it again this it's week. He went, I'm doing it one more time, and he showed me the numbers, and he went, they look a bit more healthy, don't they? <laughs> oh. What numbers are you going for this week? It's all right, laughing, but we'll see you tonight. Yeah. Go on then. You know, people, if they people do this and they win, if you take these out and people do these, you'll have to share it with someone. It's alright though, isn't it? Give them a chance. Tell them what. Give them, Give people a clue. What numbers are you doing, Carl? No, I'm not. I'm not going to tell them all. I'll, <laughs> I'll give you four. I've got. I've got five, nine, twelve, and twenty-six. Okay. You're not going to give us the other two? No. Because that's, that's, that's a big difference, isn't it? What are the what? four's worth about eight grand in it? But if I give them the other two and it wins. Yeah. What are the, those four numbers again? Five, nine, twelve, twenty-six. Uh, and also, um, uh, Carl's lottery numbers. He's a little bit more confident this week. Okay, good. He, he, he went there more like it. And I looked at him and I laughed. He went, no, no, even Suzanne said I'm, I'm on more on the right lines there. <laughs> is there is anyone who, um, uh, has done a degree in maths or A-level maths that can bear... Carl won't believe this, right? Carl thinks... I was trying to... I, I know I was tr uh, partly doing it to confuse him, just see that look on his face like a cat, right? But there is... The, the chances with a, a, a random numbers, for, the, for example the lottery, of getting one, two, three, four, five, six, are no greater than any other single combination. Right. Now that's true. I don't mean you're more likely to get one, two, three, four, five, six than any other combination put together, but than any other individual combination, they're all equal. It's counterintuitive, I know. You, I know you think that to get a run of one to six is less likely than anything else, but it's not. Uh, any name it to combine It's not, Carl. If there's a, a probability... Well, it's never happened. Yeah, it's, ne it's never happened. Yeah, but there's any well, number of combinations that have never happened. happened. Every one of those combinations that have come up yeah. have happened, and they're just as likely or unlikely as any other combination, right? Yeah. It's just that you feel intuitively, right, that one, two, three, four, five, six are l is less likely than one, seven, twelve, thirty-four, sixty. You know what I mean? Well, I didn't win. <laughs> Play record. Okay. <laughs> In the Senses by Feeder on XFM. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Alright. Alright? How are you doing, Carl? I'm alright, yeah. Another yeah. holiday? Well, it wasn't holiday. It wasn't holiday. Well, it was. You had, you had five days off work. Why well, isn't it holiday? You had five days not working for a living. You know how many days holiday gets a year now? Twenty nine. Oh, that's it, more than teachers, isn't it? It makes me sick. It makes me sick. Well, I know the kind of hours you work, Rick. <laughs> it's mad. I mean, if you're not in work by midday, you're furious. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm always... Tw 29's normal. For the normal working person. Uh, yeah, but, you know... And anyway, it wasn't a proper holiday. I went to see my mum and dad. It's nice to see them and everything, but it's not holiday, is it? Why? It's not going away. It's not getting on a plane, is it? Going away. Oh, is that definitely a holiday? What happened before 1950? Hmm. I don't know. Who used to go... Yeah, exactly. Who used to go to Blackpool, Brighton? That was holiday. Yeah, but I didn't Where did go you to... go? Went to Wales. There you go. Lovely holiday. Lovely holiday. I'm holiday in Wales. 
That's what they say, innit? Have I, I've come to high Wales and have a holiday. That's what <laughs> they say, innit? So, so, come to Wales and meet your parents. Come to Wales and have a lovely holiday. Right. Well, anyway, it was, uh, it was good and that. It's always good to see them. Yeah. It? But, um... Week off work. Do you know, do you know, like, my mum likes gnomes and stuff? Yeah. Right, uh... Of course she, she does. Said, oh, uh, She's lived with one for 30 years. <laughs> she said, uh, <laughs> you know, get your dad to take us to this, uh, to this park where they've got, uh, like, you know, six foot gnomes and stuff, right? <laughs> Have a walk about. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. Sounds like a living nightmare. Keep an eye on Carl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway. He stood still for two minutes, someone bought him. <laughs> no, 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 you can't buy him and that. It's like a, it's like a little exhibition thing, yeah. right? And it's part of a hall, right? This big hall that you have to pay to get in, but we didn't want to see the hall, I just wanted to see the gnomes. Of course right? you did, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, my dad says, yeah, well, we can, uh, we can get in there for free. Of course he did. Clever. Right? So, we parked up on this little country lane, right? <laughs> no one about. We How much down. is it going? Like two quid? About three quid each. Yeah. But he said, well, yeah, but if you don't have to pay, do you know what I mean? You enjoy it even more, don't you, when you're walking about and you're thinking, I've got this three quid in my pocket, no one's having it. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, looking over the shoulder for a bloke with a peak hat saying, can I see your ticket, please? <laughs> I wouldn't enjoy it more, no. Go on. Yeah, but you don't worry about it. You've you? got a bit of money now then, Rick. <laughs> 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 you know, you've changed. So anyway, yeah. so we had to walk across about four fields. <laughs> For three quid! Right. And, uh, what happened was, uh, uh, we're walking through all these fields and what have you, big grass and muddy bits and all that, because it'd been raining, <laughs> and, uh, climbing over fences and stuff. And we're in this field, right, and I look to me right and there's about... 30 cows all staring at us, right? And uh, Suzanne started to panic a bit. She said, This isn't, we shouldn't be here. And Dad says, Of course we can, we're allowed to go wherever we want, you know, all this land, it's, you know, it's Rambler's rights and all that stuff. Yeah. And take us out of cow if you want. So, unattended. Uh, yeah. So, so, uh. So it's been right for leaving him in the field unattended, I'm having one. Yeah. yeah. So, keep us fed for a across. week. <laughs> anyway, these cows start surrounding us. That's around in us. Oh, brilliant. Oh, no. Face and, off. And Suzanne's panicking, going, This isn't right. It's gonna, we're, we're not gonna make it to the fence in time. They, 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 they're moving faster than us, and he started sort of running a bit. Wow. And, uh, it's like some kind of bovine West Side story. Don't. <laughs> a gang of cows <laughs> coming at you. Don't worry about it and stuff. But, uh, my dad had to sort of stand there and, like, wave a stick at him. Of course. And, and, uh, and we got away, but. Suzanne was like having a bit of a sweat <laughs> you on. Got away. Saying, uh, you know, we could have got killed. Sure. And my dad saying, no, nah, it never happens. And <laughs> I just wondered if, if it does, if, if there's a risk of. Yeah, it's it is rare, but um, there's been a couple of cases of being trampled by cows. They're not aggressive. They sort of run through you. Well, they they're aggressive if they've got a calf. They do uh, have a, kids. A, 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 what? They had kids with them. Kids, yeah. That's a, that's a goat you're thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to sneak into the gnome thing, <laughs> and they were worried that, like, if too many people did it, like, they bought some cows, we can just sneak in. They were trying cows, to, yeah. No one's expecting cows. And the cows were going, walk upright like a human. <laughs> Don't walk upright. <laughs> they thought you'd blow their cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, people have been killed by cows before. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that was like the highlight, and then, uh... So when you arrived there, you were presumably covered in mud, looking like something that had just come from Glastonbury, staggering around this, this uh, it exhibition. Wasn't that, it wasn't that bad, it was just like a, a woods and it had like a, a funny sort of funeral pla uh, like a graveyard thing. Right. Yeah. With bodies sort of hanging out the ground and that, and, uh... Really? Yeah, these six-foot gnomes. Right. Uh, and then we, we just set off again, walked back. But you we sure this wasn't a field. dream? No, it was good, it was good. But then, then I got back, right, Steve? And, uh, called up Ricky, I said, right, uh, you know, are you about? Have a chat and that. So he said, oh, I'll just come round, it's a, it's a nice day. Have a drink and what have you. So I got round there at about half past six, right? Uh, go up to his door, knock on his door, right? He stood there with his tackle out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what, what did you make of that? What was wrong with that? What do you mean, what's wrong with Why that? Were I mean, it? It? It Why were you looking at it? Why were you looking at it? I tried not to look at it. But again, you're always sort of attracted to it, aren't you? Kind of like, <laughs> I've never been attracted to another man's tackle. I don't know what you mean. Uh, you can't help but have a, have a little sly look. <laughs> Especially when it's there. When you when you ring the bell, and I mean the, the one on the door, right? <laughs> and that's, that's hanging out. And does he dress to the left or the right? It was to the left, right? Yeah, it was left, yeah. Just, pop, just popped it out of my shorts for him. Just popped him out of the shorts. Should have seen the state of him. <laughs> shorts on, no top. Uh, cigar. 
looking like someone out of Sopranos. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we, then we sat on the balcony drinking wine, didn't we? Did you pop it back in, or was it? Yeah, I, put, I popped it straight back in. I've got the laugh. Sure, I've got the laugh yeah. I wanted. Yeah. He walked in. He went. Mm, it's not that hot. Straight away. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hot. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Then, uh, was that knob news, or was there more? No, it's got more knob news. That's just a taster. There. Just a taster. Listen, let's play some average. Let's play some great music, and maybe we should have some early knob news. Early knob news coming up. Um, right, rockbusters. So rockbusters. Um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. You can win the the load of stuff that we've got. So um, first one. Um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What's the initial? That's C B. C B. C B. Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. All right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had, a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keeping. Maybe he hasn't stopped listening. Because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. He hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so, uh, the second one. Um, that Scottish fella has made an error. So that Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's- Interesting. That's M. Him. Right, right, that Scottish fella has made an error. Right? Okay. And uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them. Yeah. All right. So what's the matter? That's, that's G. G. I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Uh, G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about, CB. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. All right. Scottish <laughs> fella. It doesn't work. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well. That Scottish fella's made an error, that's M. And, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M, that's G. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can- We've got the CDs, we've got horses, we've got mammals on VHS, we've got U2, uh, we've got a couple of CDs including Johnny Cash. Here's a new tune from a, a, a new fella called Papa Garcia. See what you think of this. Uh, see, if he was on MTV I couldn't say his name. Why? What is it again? Papa Garcia. Right, here's a new one from Papa Garcia. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> for us, then call up because Carl will like you. You'll be friends with Carl, won't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Quick, the clues. What's the answers? We always do this. We're running so out of time. Don't worry, we've got a tune, and then we'll come back with the answers for Rockbusters. Sure. A lot what? of great prizes. All right, um, we'll have a bit of uh, cash. Johnny yeah. Cash. One of the prizes we're giving away. Johnny Cash and Desperado. That's from his new album, uh, which is a collection of new songs and covers, which is one of the prizes given away on this week's Rockbusters. And uh, can we have the clues and the answers and the winners? Yeah. Um, first one was stop throwing that fruit about. Stop throwing that fruit about. The that answer is C B. That was Chuck Berry. <laughs> 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 of course it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, isn't it? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fellas made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> so. Oh, did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in and I'm really, I'm going to right. think it's us then. It's because I, I, I was thinking mistake, I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake and, but mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah, I was going to give it, the, the prizes to uh, Amy Massey, who's uh, from Wiltshire, the West Country. <laughs> Losers down there. Probably as weird as you. Yeah. So, uh, she's won and congratulations to her. I'm assuming she's listening online or maybe uh, via some kind of... We must, well, I think we must have a lot of listeners outside London because all these are from Norwich and... Yeah. Have we got any listeners in London? Places, you know, it's where there's a lot of inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. Norwich and Wiltshire. Well, you know. Cheers for that, Amy. Well done. He yeah. waved then when he said that. He did, yeah. He uh, waved. He's, he's working. Little world. No, he's working, uh, getting ready for TV. Of course he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so it's coming. So is that this week? Or can, is it? Can it be arranged for this week? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw that. During that track, I'm I'm chilling out. I'm loving it, aren't yeah. I? Carl goes. Do you know how baguettes came about? <laughs> Do you know how baguettes come about? I went, go on, and Steve went, no, save it. Wait a minute, though, I'm thinking, Rick, people are gonna be desperate to know the answer to that. Why don't we play some uh, ads and some music and stuff? It's like a cliffhanger. Exactly. How did ba baguettes come about? Whatever he says is gonna be good, Stay isn't tuned it? to XFM to find out. The reason, the reason <laughs> you became king of the universe, of course, is because of your fascinating French bread anecdote. Oh, yeah! Uh, yeah, come on, the then. What, how, uh, how did baguettes come about? If this is gonna be someone uh, cooked a loaf a bit wrong and said, oh, I can still make a sandwich out of it, <laughs> I'm gonna hit you. No, 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 no. Go on, then. Um, right. Napoleon 
when he was at war and that with um, Russia. Uh-huh. Eighteen twelve, yeah. Yeah, all his soldiers were like, you know, not used to the cold weather and that. <laughs> so they said, take take some clothes in your bag with you because it's going to be uh, it's gonna be Chilly. nippy, nippy yeah. out there. So um, they put all the clothes in the bag. Sure. Did they were told Thought, oh, it's Napoleon for Christ's sake? No I'm room for any food. No room for You're food. joking. So could um, they make some sort of like sandwich? <laughs> no, it won't fit because I've got all the clothes. You have to take extra yeah. gear. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so um, mm-hmm. anyway, I can that, see I where know. this is going. <laughs> 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 is there a baguette-shaped gap <laughs> left in their holdall? They thought, let's make some bread that you can fit down your trouser leg. What? That's not true! <laughs> no, it's not no, true! I read it in Euston train station. I was waiting to go back to Manchester. Where did you read it? scrawled on the wall in graffiti. Yeah. Do you know the upper was it also <laughs> meet me here for Cockburn at 12 o'clock? <laughs> the upper cross sandwich <laughs> shop, Euston station. It's on the wall. What do you mean it's on the wall? Do you know how it says, like, <laughs> sail on at Dixon's, whatever? Yeah. Next to that, there was like a bit of information. Once you've read the stuff on Dixon's, baguette information. There was there was a big thing about <laughs> the history of the baguette. I read it. <laughs> I thought, oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> we got we got to make a sandwich. We can fit down our trouser leg. <sighs> but how can you march and fight with a huge piece of bread down your uh, trouser? Although it would be intimidating. You see them coming, you go, sacre bleu! Look at the size <laughs> yeah. of them. They're they're, they're big fellas. Well, why me? I, I I can't ever feel that could be a practical joke at your expense. Yeah. You wouldn't do that. Well, the Earl of Sandwich. Do you have a question and you read? If it's no. printed up, is that <laughs> yeah. like fact for you then? Well, it's not funny. I mean, if they were trying to be funny, it's like oof. it's not, is it? So it's information. Have you heard us? Things sometimes want to be funny that's, when they're not. That's exactly what happened with the sandwich. The Earl of Sandwich wanted something he could fit down his pants, <laughs> and uh, it was a, those triangle cut sandwiches wrapped in cling film were perfect. Uh, um, you might be right. You might be right. I am. Because the Cornish pasty, so they could drop it down the mines, isn't it? Is they, it? Yeah, they wrapped it up in a, they wrapped up like meat and vegetables in pastry, and they sort of crimped it, and it was like a little, and they dropped it down the mines. So, yeah, that's how that came about. And bagels were originally made so that people could play hoopla, <laughs> but then eat afterwards. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of that. <laughs> that is true. Carl. Well, this anyway, like call my bluff. Is yeah. All true. Yeah, they're well, all true. They're all true. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your well, kids that when you have them. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if they're still alive in a million years. <laughs> well, go ahead. it might be true. Can someone confirm um, that baguette fact that it was so Napoleon could stick it down Not his trousers? Not him, his, his soldiers. Men. His men. Yeah. Fascinating information. Fascinating bread information, Carl. Radio Ed. Yeah, now this is my song for the lovers. It's a beautiful track. It's let down uh, off OK Computer. It's one of my favourite radio tracks. It's lovely. Right, set the tape going now if you want to tape yeah. you know, these songs. Avalanches, Frontier Psychiatrist. Absolutely. Well, we've had lots of emails. Um, people, obviously, we inflamed uh, and provoked well, about actually, the, the, the Cornish really. pasty. Um, I've got a couple of amendments to that. The, the crusty bit, you know, is actually as a handle, because obviously the miners had dirty hands, and they'd eat the, all the stuff in the pasty, and they'd be left with this sort of crust, and they could throw that away. Mm-hmm. Also, someone told us that at one end was a, like apple, mm. so you have a little sweet as well. A little dessert. So, there you go. You noticed how, like, over the years we've been doing this, you know, way mm. back when we started XFM, no one ever contributes when we ask about the music, no. when we ask about hip-hop, no. or their, you know, opinions on that, anything no. important. No. But, start talking about pasties, yeah. we've had about five phone calls. Yeah. And like, someone, uh, someone phoned up to confirm, so they used to work for Upper Crust, and, uh, basically, Carl got all excited. So, uh, so it is true. She went, well, I don't know if it's true. I've, I've read the same sign you yeah. did, Carl. Interestingly, it, there's an email here that says, uh, which basically offers a history of the baguette, yeah. and uh, talks about after the revolution, the government decreed that all of France must eat the same bread, and it was up to the bakers to bake this bread of equality. Yeah. Um, and then Napoleon kind of um, made sure it was particular. He kind of set in. in yeah. In, in, Obviously, on the bread, you can eat anything you find in the garden: mm. frogs, snails, bits of horse. But squid. the interesting, th- the interesting thing is, Rick, that there's no mention of sticking it down your trousers whilst going to war. The French have tried to keep that secret for <laughs> over a hundred years, it was Steve. It upper crust, people. Yeah, yeah, nearly, nearly yeah, 200, nearly 200 nearly. years, that is a top secret. Somehow, Euston Station, upper crust, got hold of a document, <laughs> left behind in an old sea chest, possibly Napoleon's, could have been Josephine's. Unfortunately, jotted it down, 
He's kicking himself now. Oh, Sakura, I cannot believe I left a note. <laughs> if he talked like that. He did. He did, he did that, yeah, yeah, he talked English, exactly. but in a very funny French <laughs> exactly. accent. Do you remember, there was one thing that, <laughs> talking about funny French accents, you remember, you remember Allo Allo? Yeah. Remember, it was on about five o'clock in the afternoon, but they still met, because it was a funny Frenchman, it was that, that English guy who was posing as a French police yeah. officer. it's very complicated He would often walk by, and he, I remember there was one where he said, uh, I was pissing by the door when I heard the shit. Oh, oh yeah. Now that's passing I'm by to the say door. That. I'm allowed passing to say that. by the door when I heard a shot. That's what he's saying. I'm allowed yeah. to say that at two o'clock mm. because that I'm just saying I'm talking in a French accent. Yeah. I was pissing by the door when I heard a shit. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Because I'm speaking French, Carl. Do, do, you, do, you know, do you know what I mean? That's the rule. When I was about thirteen, fourteen, I once tried to improve the animal kingdom by making the hardest animal ever, the most perfect animal. Now, just to clarify, you didn't, in sort of Frankenstein style, no. try and bolt various bits of animals together. It, it was a drawing that I sent to Blue Peter. There was no competition going on. You just thought they would be appreciated. I thought they'd, they'd look at that and they'd go, well, this is, he's a genius. Yeah. This is like Da Vinci. Sure. Um, and this is the animal. This is what I thought, the perfect animal. I mean, when I say perfect, I meant the hardest animal. This right. animal, it could take anything. It was just the strongest, hardest, fastest, right? Yeah. So... I started with the head of a lion. Of course, that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it looks good. <laughs> right, body, right. Yeah. Okay. I popped that on the body of a rhinoceros. Okay, so it's got the toughness, oh, the armour, if you the, like. The, the, oh, it's full strength. Yeah. Head of a lion. Think of that. So you've got this picture. Head of a lion, body of a rhino. Perfect. Okay. Hold on, though. Pop some arms on it. The front arms were the arms of a gorilla. The arms of a gorilla. So okay. it could punch, grip, it could make stuff. The lion, I mean, that's where the lion falls down, because it can't make stuff. Sure. It can't climb, you know. So, okay then, wait a minute. You think that's got enough weaponry? Sounds like it. No. Pop on the tail of a giant scorpion. <laughs> a giant scorpion? Yeah, yeah. So, so a scorpion that's, that's the size so of a Exactly. So the tail was as long as that rhino. So now right. this is a scary animal. Yeah. And this is where the animal fell down. Uh, I thought, right, legs. Well, the fastest animal is the cheetah. The cheetah. Popped on four cheetah legs. Four cheetah legs. It would have collapsed. Crushed under it the weight It would have collapsed immediately. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. yeah. And you, you drew this, did you? I drew it, yeah. Did you show it to anyone else? Yeah, my mates it? went, that's brilliant. Right. I said, that's brilliant. <laughs> And, uh, then just sent straight to Blue Peter. Yeah. Any reply? No reply at all. Really? No reply Surprised. at all. What do you think of that, Carl? What would you, th how would you, though, what would, if you wanted to make the ultimate fighting animal, what would you come up with? If you had the power, like that fella in Arabian Nights, size of a chimpanzee, you could change into anything, but you could change into, you know, like that. I don't think I'd go for strength and that. I'd go for survival. What would you do? Uh. Cockroach. I'd have, uh, I'd have, like, uh, an armadillo's body. Right. Okay. So you've, that's, th that's as big as you can be now, then. So you, you, you can't really pop on a lion's head, because it'd just lay there, going, I can't fucking move. All right. I'd have, uh, head of an owl. Right? The head of an owl? Yeah, why, 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 come on, why, what does that bring to the table? The head's there to sort of make it look friendly to, to the human race. So, okay. because if you look half decent to the human race, they'll, mm. they'll look after you. Right. That's the way it works, yeah. it? Okay. with a cat and a dog and all that. Mm. Okay. So the owl makes it look nice. Right. I'd have, uh, I wouldn't have legs, I'd go for like this slug juice. <laughs> what do you mean? So now, you're a really slow moving legless armadillo with a head of an owl. Slithering along. How yeah. is that going to be friendly? They'll be, they'll see the beautiful face, but then they'll be terrified by the sludge. No, because the head's that nice that they'll, they'll forgo the, uh, the sludge. But hold on though, but wait a minute, so, this got, it's got this thing that's stuck, right, going at 0 0.1 miles an hour, with a, going, whoo, right, you come over, you kick the head off. How is this No, because the head can go into the thing like a tortoise. Can it? Yeah, of course it can. Into so, the armadillo body. Well no, an armadillo doesn't do that. It just curls up into oh, a ball. This isn't an armadillo, is it? So it's. Oh, Why has it got the slug? Why because is that so attractive? what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, an armadillo, they're good when they're on their feet. Flip them, they get stuck, like a tortoise. Right. Slug stuff keeps it down. 
<laughs> so if anything attacks it, it's like a limpet or one of them things that can. Why well, have a limpet stuff. then? But 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 it oh. can't get any. How it can barely move. It can just hardly go and, get just anywhere. Just go and kick it. What just this, can't get but anywhere. But how can it escape from danger? It's gonna move very slowly. No, because that's it'll the lock, worst it'll lock animal. Itself in, it'll lock itself in. Yeah, and then I just scoop it up on the. You sand. can't scoop it up. It locks itself in if it's in danger. I give it peacock feathers. <laughs> Why has it got peacock heard? feathers? I guess this, it's just, it's it's just the silly. worst animal you I've ever heard. Why is it got peacock feathers? Threatening. It looks more threatening. It that's do, what, that's the do. least threatening thing, peacock feathers. It's like Danny LaRue coming at you. There's yeah. nothing remotely scary about peacock feathers. Yeah, to humans. Yeah. But the humans won't be harming it because they like the owl head. People will like to have these things in the garden. Hmm. Uh, they eat lettuce. They eat lettuce? They eat Why has it got a beak? They eat lettuce, he's telling them what he's gonna eat now, the owl's going, fuck that, I want a mouse. I love the fact that he's based what it eats on the fact that how it moves a bit like a slug. Yeah, <laughs> let it eat lettuce. Yeah. It moves that and let it eat lettuce. Like I said, it's not that weird if that, if that existed. If that was normal, like when you went out to empty your bin, there was one of them sliding up the wall. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't even double take, it'd just be like, oh there's the, uh, the owl head peacock feathered thing. I don't know why it's climbing walls in an effort to find lettuce. Yeah, why is it climbing up that wall? Cause that's the only way it can see, properly. Cause it's heads coming out, like that. <laughs> So even though you've designed this animal, now it's- you're even expanding <laughs> no, it's, its limitations. Problems. Well it's- no, it's, it's mainly problems. made as- uh, to be on walls. <laughs> <laughs> what else is living on walls? <laughs> oh god! Oh fucking hell! What a useless animal that is! Carl, I mean. But nature chucks up odd things, doesn't it? Don't. Why are we starting on this again? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that is nature. Oh, now and again, you'll get, you'll get stuff that. Oh, was he looking at you? Yeah. Was he? <laughs> Look at his fucking head. Look at his stupid round fucking orangey head and oh. Why, why aren't you a freak? You've got a little bald head. We're not meant to be bald. Well, I, I was, I think. That's the thing. That's what nature's done. You see, I didn't do anything with my hair when I had hair. I didn't style it, I didn't do anything with it, and it probably thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Whereas people who love their hair, and they comb it and have different styles and look after it, they have hair for ages. Nonsense. No, it's nonsense, absolute well, nonsense. Well, you're saying it. Absolute but, nonsense. Well, it's a little bit weird then, isn't it? And that's what happens with old people, once they lose their, you know, will to live, once they lose the job, they get old, what's my purpose? What am I doing here? And it's like nature goes, you're not needed, and they die. Maybe that's what happened with the dodo, what's it doing? Can't fly. Its wings are useless. Eat it. Tastes horrible. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did Nature. eat it. I think they did eat yeah, it. Yeah, but it wasn't very nice, was it? I think I think they over farmed it. I think that's why it was extinct, because they did eat it. No, but they did eat it, but they didn't like it. Everybody, you never you never saw like a fully eaten carcass of a dodo. You're it making this up again. Eaten. All conjecture. No, but they didn't eat it all. Everybody would probably try it and go, it's not for me, that. <laughs> but you don't know no this. No idea, you you're just making this. it up. What's this based on, I've that just... people- and also, why would that kid it out? Because, I'll tell you why. why. Because if it's not nice, people don't go, don't get another one in. And they die out. The reason we've got loads of chickens and loads of cows is because we eat them. If we ate polar bears, we wouldn't be short of them. Because <laughs> you'd farm it, you'd take more care, but what's a polar bear doing? Sat on a block of ice floating about. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use to us, is it? It sounds harsh. Once again, no got his information from a glacier mint advert. No, but it's no, it's no use <laughs> to us. We know they're there, and it's all very sad when you see them on the news sort of struggling and all that. Yeah. But it's gonna make them stronger. Mm. Now, Rockbuster is dead in the water, isn't it? We've killed that off, have we officially? We killed off. Oh, we killed off Monkey News and Rockbusters. Uh, didn't I tell you that there was some sort of petition for Monkey News? Was there? What was the story? A lot of oh, it's loads of loads of emails you, and that. You so. mean you've done Monkey News? You mean you want to do Monkey News? No, but the, the, uh, seriously, there's uproar, and people were like, "You can't get rid of Monkey News." Yeah, don't be doing that. Uh, who, 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 sort of, sort of oh, what? Loads, who, who loads, was, loads, loads of people. Was, was, it, was it monkeys? Trying to write the complete works of Shakespeare. Did Tony Blair get a whiff of it? And he's he's coming so down with a ton of bricks. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. <laughs> uh, excellent. So monkey news time on XFM. Carl Pilkington, the man in the hot seat. Carl, what have you got for us? Okay, uh, monkey news this week. <laughs> um. <laughs> We've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Uh, 
Now, do you know how, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff, sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you might have a swim and yep. stuff. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. <laughs> right. It's got nice meals. It's, it's not called a manicure, though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty event. treatments. Yeah. Right? It's look good and stuff. Yeah, well, look good, feel good, yeah. Now, you might think, well, that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about <gasps> is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> of course it's not! No, 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 it is, because think about it, right? <laughs> no, not think about it! What do you mean, yes, it is? Of course it's not run by a couple of chimps! What do they do, get a loan? Right, if a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest... Yeah. ...where would you go to? A place that's run by humans that don't, what, don't, they don't know what chimps' needs are. No! My point is this, how did they get it together? How did the two, what, two chimps, what, Mr <laughs> and Mrs Chimp, went for a loan and said, I'll tell you what we need, a spa? I think, I think it started off quite simple, right? Just, uh, just, you know, basic, basic stuff. <laughs> but they chimps expanded every time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. <laughs> Go! They've, they've all heard about it. Now, the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't even the, the top and bottom of it, right? <laughs> Christ. The I problem don't... is... It's been going on and on and on, right? It's been it's been earning a lot of money and stuff. The monkeys are happy. The monkeys that go there are loving it. They're telling friends and stuff. They're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the the problem is, it's this little uh, little monkey, little man monkey, and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. They were sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship. They can play around if they want. Well, the problem is they're not married, right? <sighs> now Some trouble brewing. The lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is because it's his name that's down on all the, all the Carl, stuff, all I, the forms. Let him I finish. I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, is his missus is kind of like, what's going to happen? Sure. What are, you getting, this, where are you getting this from? What? Are you Internet. Carl, <laughs> I don't know where to start. No. This is the. This no, is just, the, uh, can we just hear the, the end? Oh, this is ridiculous. So the problem is, the the the, the female monkey is worried that the male she's, monkey she's is going to die. What's going to happen what's with the happen? business? What's going to happen? Of course. Right now, what do you mean the business? The 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 health that is spa. the business. It's a joke. Health Rick, spa. You're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's name. It's in I, his name. Uh, now the problem is, oh, the woman monkey has got some kids, but because they're not blood, blood relatives, it's not going to be handed down to them. And the court- well, they're, they're kids from a previous monkey marriage? Yeah. Right. Uh, so that, they're not gonna get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't wanna check the facts, otherwise yeah. you could look like a twat spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific security. I mean, they're just a bit worried because they're saying that the people in Ohio, which is where they- where they've got the- the, uh, the little health thing going on. So that makes it more believable that it's Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in which it, case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there, they've seen the success of it. Sure. And they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So. Give me the piece of paper. Throw it away. Play a record. That's the worst, that's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are, there's something wrong with you. You're educationally subnormal. Final tune from us, Tim Buckley. Lovely song called Wings. Back next week? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See you, Carl. Although you've spoken many times before. Board! Eggy Pop on board on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here as well. Yeah, little Carl Pilkington. Mm -hmm. Well, to reintroduce or introduce people for the first time to Carl, um, I think we should have a. Yeah, maybe sort of a kind of a quick Q and A, Carl. And we don't need sort of lengthy answers from you. We don't need lots of detail. Um, right. You know, can we uh, just a couple of sentences? Just to get to a answer his question. Who you are? Yeah. So, like, firstly, uh, name obviously Carl Pilkington. Age, Carl? Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be thirty next month. Really? This month? No, next. What, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think we need to ask I any more questions. I think we've done it. That's I it. Think we've Welcome done it there. to the world of Carl Kelsington. <laughs> yeah, I think that, oh, I thought it would take three or four I questions thought it was gonna be at least, to really yeah. explain that was, what that was Carl the first was about. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely God. incredible. But, well, um, but you oh. know, like, we can't really leave it there because, um, no. because we, uh, we haven't uh, got enough else to do to fill yeah. up the two hours. So, um, no. let's, let's pursue this line of inquiry. Yeah. Uh, so, um, age, what was the age, Carl, in a couple well, of months? When were you born? I'll be, uh, 72. Right, what month, what day? I'm on the cusp. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the cusp of a day? <laughs> well. Um, 23rd of September. Okay. 72. <laughs> so anyway. Okay, right, good. And uh, you were talking there about, um, obviously a star sign where you're on the cusp. Yeah. You believe in that, do you? No. Nope. You don't believe in star signs? No, not really. But you do believe in ghosts, I understand. No, because the Paranormal. star Yeah, but the star so sign thing, you've got how many, how many different star signs are they? Twelve, innit? Right, and then you've got, like, loads of people. Yeah. So you, you do the math. So they're saying <laughs> that, you know, there's only twelve different sorts of people in the world. Exactly. That's yes. exactly right. It's it's made up. It's made up nonsense. It's non-science. It's pseudoscience. It's yes. It's so. it's it's it's, it's hairy man and um, dyed hair woman science. Yes. Mm. Isn't it? All right. Yeah. Anyway, back to uh, you, Carl. Where were you born? In uh, in Manchester. Okay. What uh, GCSE results did you get? <coughs> I got. Uh, was that an E? You got an E you in got history. An e in history. And how, how did you, you find out that, that information? You found out. Because you thought you you didn't, you couldn't remember what you got, you didn't turn up and you thought you'd done about three, one and of which I, wasn't history and, and actually- you, And you did art. Yeah, you didn't. I'm telling you, you didn't because we checked. Yeah. You did one. You turned up for history, you did history, you got an no, E in I history. I definitely did art. I what? made a little clay man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to register for O-levels. You don't just do it and then phone up and say, how was that? Yeah. And they go, well, I'm we sending don't. you a clay man. <laughs> <what> you think. <laughs> yeah, Send me yeah. a grave. Yeah. There's all things. There's forms to fill out and yeah. things like that, Carl. Anyway, yeah. go anyway. on. Um, who was your closest childhood friend? Closest? At what age? Well, when you were young, when you were. Oh, a I kid. remember this. It's a fella. Um, so well, is it someone there's, making? Isn't there's, it? There's, well, he wasn't really a close mate. Darren Buckley was me. Darren Buckley. Yeah. He, he was me. Tell us briefly mate. about Darren. I've forgotten about Darren. He's the one who. Um, all the all the girls liked him. He Did had, they? Uh, he had permed hair. He used to <laughs> have his hair like a footballer. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. Were you jealous of him? His Were dad was a copper. Did you hang around with Darren like in the hope of getting maybe his kind of cast-offs? Nah. I, I, it's, it's weird with me. I, I, I wasn't that bothered about having loads of mates and that. I sort of- Sure. I had lots of mates but I could do without them. You had a magpie, yeah. didn't you? I was, happy, didn't I was happy playing with my magpie. Yeah. What on, happened to him? Yeah, uh, flew away. Yeah. But yeah. I wasn't bothered because it was giving me grief towards the end, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was popping me, me grifter tires and that. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> flying down, pecking me head. Sure. Now you went to school with a number of different interesting people. Uh, some of whom two were of which, freaks. I understand, uh, had big heads and webbed toes. Is that right? Yet yeah, they were not related to each other and they weren't friends with each other. Why weren't they friends with each other? <laughs> because that'd be obvious. <laughs> Did they did they wear shoes or did they walk around in their <laughs> in their web? Uh, Were they good at feet? swimming? Were they good at swimming? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they ever ever went swimming. Did they ever talk? Did they, did they ever look over at each other and think? Yeah, we uh, should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> I told you uh, yeah. something in the week as well. There was another cool. lad at school had a pigeon chest. <laughs> he had a what? Can we come back to this? He had a pigeon I chest. I think we should play a record, Carl, because we I think we've hooked them now. Yeah. I think I think there's no one switching off now, Rick. No, play a record. <laughs> Blair, coffee and TV. Carl, uh, I said it's not the best Blair song when it, when it was playing. You know, I'm not, I don't want to diss it, but you know, it's not the best one. I mean, that's Absolutely that's not. fact. Sure. You know, yeah. Carl went like a video though, a little milk carton. Yeah. A bit sad. It's tragic, isn't it? <laughs> he went. In the, this is all to himself. I'm not even joining in. <laughs> and then he went. Yeah, but it's all right at the end. He goes to heaven. He finds a little girl milk carton. Just lives out a little thing and is. Is that yeah. like you on your paper around that little milk carton walking around like that? I imagine you. Oh, people don't know about it. If you just tuned in, Carl had a paper round. It's his favourite job ever. And he maintains it's the best job he's ever had. Isn't it, Carl? We... Go on. I don't know what's so weird about that. It's a paper round. Yeah, but look, look forget it's not all the most that. Fulfilling of look jobs. at look at the way it works, right? You you get it out of the way at the start of the day, so you have got the rest of the day to yourself. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> that's, that's the same as signing on. Your own your own boss. You know. Same as signing on. Well, you're not your own boss. The guy yeah. at the news agency, <laughs> <your> boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, 
<laughs> no, you, you, that's you, great. You, you proved me wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, not really. Would that stand up in court? Well, you were found with the dagger. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Was I? Okay, wh when are we, uh, when are we playing the new game? Oh, Carl's got a new game. Carl's oh. very excited. Oh, just, but just, we were just talking about something before you Yeah, the right, the freaks used to go, you, you had, uh, people with big heads, two red feet, didn't hang around each other, that would be too obvious. Um, you had a fellow with a pigeon chest. Mm. Yeah, what's the story with a pigeon chest? Don't know how it happened. <laughs> it was like, it, it looked like someone had sort of hit him on the back with a big hammer. <laughs> And it had come out at the front. Yeah. And I've never seen it since. Could that have been the answer? What, why is, why yeah, he had it? Why had it? Possibly, I suppose, in your neck of the woods. Yeah. Don't know, never asked him. It's just come back to haunt you, has it, the pigeon chest? No, it's just that, uh, you know, when you, when you mentioned about kids at school, I forgot all about him. Mm. He's talking about the kids with the web feet and the big heads. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I forgot about the little old, uh, the pigeon, chest pigeon boy. Yeah, pigeon. Yeah. Big day car though, isn't it? That's cause he, you know, there's lots going on and I know Carl's very, it's very, very important for him that he, he champions live aid. I don't know what's going on. I, d I don't know what, I, I am sick of it, to be honest. <laughs> sick of what? Just sick of reading about it. Sick of this live aid thing. Sick of it all. Brilliant. Fed up with it. What, what annoys you particularly? It. It's not only that today though, is it? Um, on the way in today, right, saw a gay fella <laughs> on is a bike. On a bike, rushing. What time did the gay march start? What, what time did it have to be? Why are you looking at me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was, he was rushing, left it late, so he'd had a late night again. So my point's right about him. Well, right. what, was, what was your point about just to people who've just, uh, tuned in? Well, the fact that they, they go out late, so, you know, they, they sort of have a nice night out from about half past eleven. <laughs> They're riding in the jeans at like <laughs> half past ten. in their jeans? <laughs> they're, le they're leather trousers. But anyway, right, so... They're cutting the back, aren't they? Leather trousers <laughs> about <laughs> half ten at night. I'm on the way in, right, and I see one stressed out rushing, right, on a yeah. racer, yeah. wearing high heels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. He's 50's dad, isn't he? <laughs> he's got, he's angry. He's just angry. If you're a gay fella and you're, um, you're proud to be gay, but you also want to make poverty history, you don't know what to do today, do you? You're all racing all over the place. Uh, it's murder. It seems a bit unfortunate that they've put them on the same day. Yeah. Well, you, you, can get, you can get little, um, little leather studded, uh, wristbands <laughs> that say right. make poverty history. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you can, you can, you can join them on both You can part. kill two birds at once, then. Yeah. yeah. But why is Live Aid stressing you out? It's for a good cause. You must have, um, you know, we, I know we've discussed this in the past and you don't really know what you're talking about, but... I mean, may maybe that's the problem. I'm just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could, I could have told them ages ago that there was no way that they were going to pay it back. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I love that. But they didn't consult you, did they? When they were handing out this money willy-nilly to people who were dying, you could have had a quiet word with them. You all, all I'm saying is... You could I have said to Hal Wilson, Howard. Don't, don't, you're not gonna get this back, mate. You're not gonna get this back, mate. When I wanted a mortgage, I had to supply three wage slips, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I was double checked out loads of times. <laughs> Well, well, I'd like to see, um, have you ever seen that guy Alvin Hall who gives financial advice to perhaps teenagers who don't know how to spend their money wisely? Mm. Oh, Alright. Perhaps like to send him over there. He's a guy with the, the bow tie. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. I'd like to send him over there and just sort of have a chat with him and say, yeah, uh, you know, make, a, make a list of what you're so, spending it on. So he's basically, are you, are you, will you be annoyed if they drop all debt and double aid and everything? No, no, because I mean, you know, people sometimes need help and that, don't they? You've got to help people out, but yeah. it's, it's, it's how many times is the thing. You know what I mean? Let them off. But, but do I, uh, you know, I, I've got this, uh, monthly payment at the moment, haven't I? Yeah. I'm paying for tools for people out there who need right. a drill to build a house or whatever. Yeah. Am I now in my right to say, well, you can't have it all. Do you want the drill or do you want the debt cancelled? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I'm okay. just, you know, I'm, I'm all happy to help people out. Do you think, do you think they're taking this for a mug? Is that what you think you might well, be taking? Well, we'll see, won't we? Time will tell, won't we? You know what I mean? If, if next year, at the same time, Geldof's putting on another gig. I'll go, what's going on now? <laughs> <laughs> Geldof putting on another gig! And the mean fiddler! What's going on now? I think you're missing out on the true meaning of today, Carl, which is an opportunity to see Keen for free. I think that's the problem. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go. I don't like crowds and that, do I? Alright. Can't be dealing with that. I don't like big crowds. People, because I was talking to people at work about it and they were saying, oh, you know, it's a big occasion, it's one of them events, like, you've got to be down there because in years to come, when they say, you know, we are there, 
I don't see what's good about having a memory being stuck in a crowd of 150,000 people. I prefer to, uh, to do something nice, say if I, if I have like a nice cake and a cup of tea, right? <laughs> In years to come, when when they go, do you remember that day when we were all cramped and what have you? I'll go, no, I was on a nice cake and a cup of tea. <laughs> so I've got a nice, nicer memory than them. <laughs> so I believe in doing something nice on a big occasion, do you know what I mean, on a special day. Do yeah. something nice, remember that. The thing is, you have got a nicer memory than them because when you look back and they say what you're doing 20 years ago, your memory will tell you you were actually having a um, cup of tea and a cake but with a chimpanzee that could talk English. That's what your memory will tell you. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I was, I was out with my mate, I was out with my mate. Marty, he's a chimp. And it just, you're, you'll be in cuckoo land by the time you're 50. You'll be just wondering, going, that was great that day, I remember. Suzanne. Suzanne, I don't know what I'm talking to Suzanne, she's left you. She's left you, she's had enough of you waking well, up. Well, she's going. standing in High Park watching Bed Shaped live. <laughs> <laughs> she's not worried about cake and a cup of tea. Have you ever done a march or anything, though? Have you ever sort of. What are you saying? Have you ever, have you, you know, you're having a go at me for not getting behind it all, right? Which I am, because I've got more standing orders going out of my account for charities than anything, yeah. right? But are you, have you ever got behind a, 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 you know, a problem? No. I don't think I have, to be fair, no, no. No, I am quite slack in that respect. It does take a lot of effort, though, doesn't it? Well, it depends. What sort? Well, you yeah, know, if you're going to do one of those walks from John O'Groats to Land's End or something, that's a lot of time commitment. There's one, I tell you what, there is one that's, that looks all right. On, um, Portland Place, just off Oxford Street, there's always, uh, just a little Chinese fella sat on the pavement. Right. Oh, I've seen him, yeah. What's that all about? Yeah. He's just sat there with a poster, but you don't know what it's for because it's in Chinese. Yeah. So he's just, he's just always sat there. But that's a nice, that's, for me, that's the sort of march I want, where you just, and he's only there when it's sunny, if it's raining, they don't bother. I tell a lie, I did pop down when all those women walked through London in their bras. <laughs> <laughs> Placebo, this picture on XFM 104.9. Steve? Yes? I think, uh, Carl's gonna put most people to shame. We were talking about generosity earlier. Because Carl is a nice, generous bloke when it, when it really comes to it. He's paying for Father's Day. He's paying for the cottage that he's going away with his dad. Are you really, Carl? Yeah. Right. Well, there's no way of us proving if that's true or not. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> well, you could be lying. But why would I do that? Well, because you want to show off. I didn't do it on air. You mentioned it. <laughs> I don't want people to know how generous I am. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Right. Just do it. Just get on with it. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like charity yeah. work in that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Do you, do you, do, but I, I'd have thought that you wouldn't have fallen for Father's Day. I'd have thought you'd have known it was like. Well, we don't. I mean, to be honest, there's a bit of a coincidence because I paid yeah. for it anyway, and it's happened to fall on, right. on Father's Day. Mm. Right. But don't buy a card. Don't, don't, don't fall for it. It, it. I mean, obviously that and Mother's Day, and a plethora of other things were, I mean, literally invented mm. by card companies to make more money. I know. Uh, yeah. That's, 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 uh, I mean, my dad always says don't, don't get him a card or anything. Um, cos he hates it. With, with all these things that I'd like, you know, rip-off times, really, just ripping people off. Yeah. Um, sounds, a bit, sounds a bit stingy, that. Well, no, no, I mean, he's right. Yeah. He's right, it's just, uh, cos fellas aren't bothered about getting cards anyway, are they? But the, the other thing that he <laughs> noticed, um, you know, helping out the flower companies, the Princess Diana thing, when she... Oh, fuck. Sorry. Yeah. No. Jesus. Cry God. So when, yeah, when- Carl, when, what, what, what do you mean? What no, do you the, mean? That's, that's what he said. He said, oh- I nearly swore then because I was- uh, you surprise me all the time. No, no, I'm But just, that is incredible. Sorry, what- I don't understand. What are you talking about? All the about? flowers that were sort of sold that day. Right. What, for right. people to leave as a commemoration or Yeah, they, they, they made a- made a mint, didn't they? Who did? Flower companies. Right. So what so are you saying? saying? So you're he saying... was just saying, you know, makes you wonder. <laughs> what whether about what? Whether it was in the floor or behind the hit. Oh. So it's a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a conspiracy by the flower. Companies. I would love to see you and your dad just sitting at home watching a bit of Channel Five when apes go mental, right? With your with your roast dinner. When's that dinner. on? When's that on? <laughs> <laughs> and then do like, that. Well, yeah, well, you know, you know, kill Diana, don't you? Flower company's son. Right, 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 quite right, Dad, you're not wrong. What are you talking about? No, I'm not, I'm not you know, I'm just saying, it's, it's like you were saying about the cards, you know, on <laughs> Father's Day and that, it's, it's, it's just a bit, too just much a of a coincidence. Weird. Too much of a coincidence. I'd be interested to see sort of, you know, like the business graph. 
sure. <laughs> yeah. on how the companies were doing, then suddenly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then, but then, by the same token, uh, Elton John, you know, he started had the biggest selling hit record, didn't he, off the back of that? Mm. I mean, so is he incriminated as well? If you want, I mean. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> It's a conspiracy there, theory you've not kind of analysed terribly closely. You've put it out there, and if people maybe who are investigating want to kind of add that into their inquiries, then they can. Yeah, sure. But uh, no, that's 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 all I'm saying. I'm just you know, because it's always the same thing, isn't it? Like I was out <laughs> shopping the other day, uh, you know, treating Suzanne like I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I like I like spending money on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I was in W H Smiths. Yeah. Um, oh, classy. Yeah. The, what was, the, it? Uh, was it? Was it a big birthday? Was <laughs> it? You, you was, it a was it a thirtieth? No, I was. I was getting a. Uh, <laughs> was it two biros for the price of one? <laughs> <laughs> I was getting. I was getting a card for my dad for Father's Day anyway, because sure. I'm yeah. seeing him. Yeah. Uh, big Toblerone. Yeah. There was a giant. Who is, it, who, who is it who said Father's Day? They love a love a Toblerone. I've never understood Toblerone because the only time I see Toblerone is in airports. Yeah. Right. And mini bars. Mm. <laughs> that yeah. is what the the, the the small Toblerone is for the mini bar in a hotel, yeah. three star upwards. Mm. And the big Toblerone. Well, it's the big is, Toblerone is a gift, isn't it? It can uh, only be a gift. You wouldn't uh, buy a big Toblerone you, for yourself. Yeah, a duty free gift. The Toblerone. It's next to um, you know uh, Chanel Number no. Five Toblerone <laughs> yeah. and a bear. <laughs> but it's, who specifically yeah. would you be buying that Toblerone for? I don't know. Someone who's clearly never had it before and would think it was interesting novelty. It, uh, yeah. Well, this I, gift's interesting. I'll tell you what, though, Toblerone is brilliant. I mean, if, if whoever makes that, if they want to send sort of, you know, some Toblerones, I, I mean, I, I will eat Toblerone. Well, I, yeah. Mm. I think very much the and, same uh, about, um, I think very much the same about fags. And of course... Just cigarettes. If you've got any boxes of cigarettes and, uh, that you don't want, you know, <laughs> duty-free or whatever, I, send them. I'd just like to say that, uh, d in no way do, do, do I endorse <laughs> Carl's dad's theory that flower companies were behind the death of Diana. No, well, uh, Maybe I could say that on air as well, just to save any complaints.